the redesigned Mitsubishi Outlander jumps into a super competitive small SUV market. Thing is, the company's been on the ropes here in America. Sales are dropping and dealers are closing. They really need fresh product now. And the Outlander? Well, it's the first to arrive. Rounded and a bit droopy looking, it lacks the sharp, chiseled looks of the previous generation. So the styling might not stand out, but two things do make the Outlander distinctive. A big calling card is the standard third row seat in all Outlanders. No other small SUV can claim that. The second unique feature is an optional V6 engine, found in the Outlander GT we're driving here. Other than the Jeep Cherokee, most small SUVs lack this option. The Outlander's 224 horsepower 3 liter V6 is smooth, but it doesn't really make for a rocket ship. Most Outlanders will have a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder with 166 horsepower, mated to a continuously variable transmission. Weight reductions took 200 pounds out of the body shell. That's one of the things that should improve fuel economy. Middle and upper trim level Outlanders are available with super all wheel control. That's kind of an awkward way of saying electronically controlled all wheel drive. Thing is, the Outlander really isn't all that special to drive. It isn't particularly sporty, and that's a shame because the previous Outlander was. Our first impressions are that it's pretty loud inside, and the ride can get fairly choppy. All that's a shame. They took away what we liked about the old Outlander, but they didn't really make the new one that much more refined. Things cheer up inside. This Outlander addresses some of the brand's traditional demons, including cheap looking interiors and overly frustrating radios. Here, dashboard materials are nice, and the new radio is an improvement. So the Outlander has some things going for it, but also has some strikes against it. All in all, we're not too sure it's going to be just the car to bring buyers back to the showrooms. We'll find out more when we buy an Outlander of our own to test here at the Consumer Reports test track.